Hi, this is Pam from the Birch Cottage blog. Welcome to my Learn to Crochet series. So let's learn how to crochet the moss stitch or the granite stitch or the linen stitch. Um, I typically refer to it as the moss stitch because that's what I learned many years ago. I've been working on this dish towel or this tea towel and it's all done in this beautiful moss stitch, linen stitch. Um, it's really a great way to showcase when you have a contrast in your colors of the yarn that you're working with. So I'm working. <clears throat> I've already uh, started this new row and I did a chain two, a single crochet in my chain space, a chain one, and a single crochet in the next chain space, and now I just chained one. So I'm going to single crochet. <clears throat> In the next chain space I'm not crocheting in the stitch but actually in this chain one space so I'm inserting my hook yarn over pull my yarn up now I have two loops on my hook yarn over and pull it through both loops yarn over make a chain <clears throat> so again I'm going to you'll see in this um, chain space. I'm going to insert my hook in that chain space, yarn over, pull it up so I have two loops on my hook, yarn over, pull it through both loops, single crochet made, chain one by yarn over, and pull it through that loop. I just made a chain one. So I will continue with this stitch, this pattern all the way across, single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the next chain space on the previous row, chain one, single crochet, you can see that you can actually work this stitch up pretty quickly. So let's get to the end of this row and I'll show you what to do there. All right, I crocheted across. I'm at the end of that row. I did a single crochet in the chain one space and I've done a chain one. And now I will do a single crochet in that beginning chain one space. I'm gonna go right in behind these two loops and you can see there's my first chain one my second chain two of the beginning round and I'm going to go right in that space and single crochet and now I'm ready to begin the next row so I'll turn my work first and I'm going to chain two one two and then I'm going to single crochet in the first um, space. Single crochet, chain one, and then single crochet in the next space. Chain one, single crochet in the next chain one space. And I'll just do this all the way across. And again, this is the moss stitch. And it creates this beautiful woven look in this in the crochet in whatever project you're working on. I happen to be making up some of these uh, kitchen towels, tea towels, hand towels, whatever you'd like to call them. And I just think the stitch is beautiful and perfect with this lily sugar and cream cotton yarn for towels. Now when I'm done with my towel, I'll have all these strands that I will need to weave in from where I did my color changes, but that won't take too long. <clears throat> 